Hello, my fellow beings of Earth, and happy summertime! In case this is your first time here, my name is Nancy Jane, and welcome! Today we are talking about how to celebrate the summer season, participating in the summer solstice celebrations. Let's get started! During the summer solstice, we are celebrating the longest day and the shortest night of the year. The sun being at its highest power, its peak of full sun, full light, full warmth. We are celebrating the life on and of Earth, that which is around us, the growth still happening and growing, and the harvest to soon come. There are so many awesome ways to celebrate summer, especially because we can go outside and be free and comfortable and do whatever our hearts desire. But the first thing I want you to do when celebrating summer this year is to get out your journal or a piece of paper, and I want you to write down some gratitudes. I want you to write down 10 things that you are grateful for that the universe has brought you so far this year in the past six months. After your gratitudes, I want you to review and renew any goals that you made at the beginning of the year. I want you to reset your intentions for the rest of the year, refocus yourself so you can finish out this year strong. All right, enough work. Let's go on to the fun celebrations. A simple way to celebrate is just by being outside and enjoying nature, enjoying the sun, absorbing the sun by sun gazing or sun bathing. Make sure to do both of these safely because the sun can be harmful to us at times, unfortunately. It does have so much power. Another way to simply just be outside is by going for a walk or a hike, moving your body, raising your energy as well as your vibrations. Connect with the earth by gardening. While you're on that walk or while you're gardening, be sure to pick some flowers, make another flower crown like we did on May Day, or pick enough for a bouquet to give to a friend or family member, somebody that you love. Pick some yellow flowers and make a yellow mandala flower design to celebrate and honor the sun yellow orange red any kind of sun colors you could bathe in a natural water source so a lake a pond if you have a waterfall the ocean anything like that that is natural definitely go have fun in that water you can make a sun tea get a jar fill it with water and put in some herbs that you like to taste sit it out in the sun for 24 hours and drink away. Now again, we are honoring the sun being at its highest peak and its highest power. So a way to celebrate the sun is just by lighting a candle, lighting that fire. And by lighting a fire, we could also have a bonfire. Who doesn't love a bonfire? A way to celebrate with friends and family, do other outdoor activities, raise each other's vibrations, and hey, there's probably gonna be food. Who doesn't like food? I love food. And feasting is another great way to celebrate. Do it again with sun-colored foods. So lemons, oranges, red apples, bananas, carrots, bell peppers, tomatoes, anything that's again yellow, orange, or red. Also keep in mind any seasonal fruits or vegetables like zucchini, watermelon, celery, honeydew, berries, other colored apples, dark leafy greens, avocados, nectarines. There's so many options in the summertime. Let me know in the comment section down below how you plan on celebrating your summer solstice. All I have planned so far, which is always, is a bonfire and food. Can't do anything without food. <laughs> If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, especially if you learned something new. If you're ready, hit the subscribe button, and if you haven't yet, hit the notification bell, otherwise you will not be notified when there are new uploads. If you want to keep hanging out today, be sure to check out this video right here. And until next time, I hope that love, light, and good vibrations find their way to you. Bye, guys. Col col colored flavored foods.